I'm Chantel from Booby Bears Anonymous. Welcome to In The Office With Booby Bears. Woo! This is your chance to get the behind the scenes look at the process of a brand spanking new business in real time. Every week I'll update you on my business successes so you can learn from it and my business failures so you can learn from it. So definitely subscribe so you can follow my journey on pre-start to start up and hopefully get bigger. Maybe yourself, you're a mum who decides to start a business, you've got an idea, you've been thinking about it, not sure how a business grows, you know, how long it takes for a business to grow. This is your chance to in real time see how a business goes from starting to becoming an actual business, hopefully a successful business. I guess only time will tell. <laughs> and I promise to tell you everything, even the failures. So make sure you, you stay tuned and have a listen. Anyway, I'm going to tell you about my week this week. Um, most weeks start, you know, like on a Monday, obviously. Monday, beginning of the week. Some people's weeks start on Sundays. You know, I don't know, you might be planning your week from Sunday. My week this week started from Saturday. And I think it started from Saturday because it was a terrible start to the week. <laughs> oh my gosh, on sat Saturday, I was like... Like, I, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Let me tell you what happened, first of all. I put out an ad on Facebook. I was like, oh my God, this is an amazing ad. It was a cute little ad. I think it said something like, um, want to shout about how proud you are about breastfeeding? And it had, like, my little vest on there. Really, really cute. And I love the advert. I was getting lots of responses from it, actually. And then I got a comment. I don't know why people decide to... <laughs> why people always want to be negative. I got one comment. And because I think I had just woken up and I'd seen the comment, it sort of threw me off a bit. It said something like, um, does it matter how we feed our babies? Doesn't it matter that they're just fed? And I was like, I, I took it to heart. I was like, oh my God, like this person, she doesn't like my stuff. And then I was thinking about it and I thought to myself, it's not that she doesn't like my stuff. It's just the fact that maybe she feels guilty that she didn't breastfeed her own baby. And therefore she denotes the fact that I'm celebrating that I have breastfed mine. And my thought is, just because I'm celebrating what I'm doing doesn't mean that I'm denoting what you're doing. We're all adults, we make our very own choices. Anyway, um, I'll go into this more on my Vlog Sundays um, vlog, so do listen out for that. So anyway, that was that was the start to the week that sort of threw me off. But then once I thought about it, and I actually wrote a long response back to her, very positive, but long response back to her, um, funny enough, I didn't hear anything back from her after that. So there we go. Um, so that was the one thing that, first of all, started a bit negative, but I turned it around to positive. Um, and then, because, um, you know, I'm starting to do the um, Quake Fridays and then the behind the scenes on the Saturday. And then on Sundays, I do the vlogs. Well, I had all the videos ready, lines up to edit. Video editor doesn't work. Video editor doesn't work. So... I download another video editor to my computer. Doesn't work. <laughs> I spent three hours, three hours, the same piece of video trying to edit it. Got to the end of it, would it say? It would just crash. I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? What am I going to do? Went on Amazon trying to look for a video editor. How do I know it's going to work properly? Looking on Curry's website for an editor. If I get it, you know, I'm not going to get it for a few days. So what I'm going to do with these videos that I've I've done for the, you know, for the weekends, like favorite quote Friday is going to have to be on Tuesday, and you know, behind the scenes Saturday is going to have to be on a Friday. I don't know. It's going to mess up my whole, you know, my whole YouTube schedule. So I was like, what am I going to do? Oh my days. So after stressing for ages, my boyfriend was like, oh, I've got to go to work now. So he left. I was with the kids. Do you know what I did? Nothing. <laughs> I thought, I'm not dealing with this right now. When you're to a point where you're so stressed and you just can't even think any further, that's when you know you need to take you need to take five and just forget about it completely. Not even, you know, forget about it, but slight, sort of slightly think about it. Forget about it completely. So do you know what we did? We got our shoes on and we went to the park and we played in the park till 6.30. 6.30 on Saturday evening. It was a lovely day. It was beautiful. It was nice and warm. Took a few pictures. Yeah, it was great. When I got home, then it sort of just came to me. YouTube have a video editor. Oh my God. Problem solved. It's a bit clunky. You know, it's a bit slow, but it works. And for now it will do. It's not the best, 
but for now it will do so I've been doing all my videos with that now and actually in the long run it saved me time because the ones I was using before had so many adverts on them that you had to keep clicking past the adverts to do each new thing you wanted to do and then it would crash after a while and then you have to you know find a new one to download so that was taking you know this would this is going to save me about you know a good few hours each month you know not wasting my time if you do know any good at uh, video editors by the way just please just let me know down there because I'm very new to this <laughs> before two weeks ago I'd never you know even thought of you know trimming a video it's a video you know it'll play but um yeah I need a good one so if you've got any ideas of any good ones please do let me know anyway that was the beginning of the week um once I sorted that out I was like very relieved so I can move on um um, so what I've been um, playing around with, as I mentioned before, is doing Facebook ads. What I was doing before, for the past, before I opened, I was doing sort of um, boosts. I would do a post and then boost it on Facebook. So it's not an ad. It's not as specific. You just sort of like boost it for a couple of pounds. And I was doing that, um, you know, a few times a week, like my blogs or like my pictures of my products. And I was getting quite a few clicks from it, but I realised that if I just do Facebook ads, which is a little bit more expensive, and just do it less during the week, um, it's actually more productive because it clicks straight through to my website and, yeah, it's just a bit more productive that way. So um, I've just been measuring the results from that and so far it seems to be a lot better. Um, I've got my first mum to mum market coming up. Very excited about that. Woo! What I've got, um, I saw it on, <laughs> I don't know. I think I was looking for tablecloths because when I go to the market, obviously I'm gonna have like a, it's an indoor market. It's not like outside in the cold. It's um, gonna have a table there. So I was looking for a tablecloth to put on the table, you know, for all my stuff to go on. And then I came across this, it's incredible. Oh my God, look at that. It's a table tutu. You put it around the table like a table skirt. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use this. That is so cute and it's so pink. <laughs> and I love it. When I showed it to my mum, she was like, um, that's really pink. I was like, yeah, I know. It's amazing. It's the same colour as my nails, look. That's, that's how I like the pink. So I can't wait to put that on um, and then really dress the table. I've been practising how long it will take me, what I'm putting on the tables. So um, I've also made my little my little cards there. Yeah, you see, you see that there. It's cute, isn't it? Lovely um, quilted paper. A bit of double sided tape behind that. Stick it on. It's great. What more could you want? Also, what I've done this week is I'm quite excited about this actually as well. <laughs> I don't usually make things that are like um, you know like pink for girls and blue for boys, but I know that. Especially like when a baby's like newborn, people want things that are, you know, pink for girls and blue for boys. Not necessarily when they get a bit older, a few months older, but as, you know, brand new babies, people do want, um, may want, you know, colour coded things. So, because I don't have a lot of um, that sort of thing, I actually, I'm sorry, I'm just doing my computer. <laughs> it's face recognition, I had to look at it. Um, I actually decided to do um, a few of them. I'm going to show you one of them now. It's so cute. I'm not going to show you all the designs that I did. I actually did about 12 new designs. And they're going to be available when I do the mum to mum market in a few weeks time. 23rd of April, South Kensington. Just so you know that. Um, so they're going to be there uh, for you to see. They're not going to be on my website just yet. Yeah, so I'm just going to show you this one. Because I think it's so cute. Isn't this sweet, look? Look, can you see it? Look at that. Breast milk, breast milk. Food fit for a princess. And the little crown. The little crown on there. And I'm so happy because I was um, actually dreading doing designs on this computer. I just bought it in December. It's a new one. Before I was using my tablet, my... Um, what was it like an S note to do it all on? So I'd been sort of putting off doing new designs because I was like, oh my god, like it's gonna take me ages to learn how to do it. What if I can't get it how I want it? 
this is magic oh my gosh it's absolute magic everything i want to do i can do it on there i did like 12 designs in like a day it was incredible so um i can't wait to get those printed got the little blanket the little hat to go with it as well oh so cute uh so yeah i'm gonna have those and loads more as well but i'm not gonna show you the rest those are gonna be a little surprise for you um, and I can customise them as well, put little names on them, you know, when you started breastfeeding or anything. Anything you want to do with breastfeeding, I can put it on a t-shirt. It's up to you. Yeah. Um, what else did I do this week? Let's see. Oh, I've got a new t-shirt coming up, actually, that will help you to commemorate um, your best breastfeeding moment. You're going to love what I'm calling it. <laughs> You're going to really enjoy what I'm going to call it. But I'm not telling anyone just yet. You'll see it coming up soon. I'll just say that. Um, yeah, that's been my week so far. <sighs> it's been a, it's been a good, it's been a good week. You know, everything that's been sort of low, I've managed to turn it into an up, and I've managed to learn from it. So that's all that you can really want to do in a business, isn't it? Learn from things that don't go as you expect them to um so yeah just watch out for my vlog sundays tomorrow as i said i'll be talking about i'll be talking about breastfeeding what else do i talk about breast boobs breastfeeding that's what it is um so make sure you listen to that um yeah let me know how your week's been you know great week what was your successes bad week what you learned for next time i'd love to know all about it don't forget to like my video and subscribe to me because you know you like my voice <laughs> Anyway, from me and the tutu, you've got to see this tutu again, it's amazing. The tutu. From me and the tutu, bye.